All right. So today we're going to have a demo on how to make your own sprite. So again, this is our uh, development environment. This is our sprite, so scratch the cat. And this is the background or the stage. Now, how do you make your own sprite? So you can delete this sprite and click choose a sprite. You can paint, click paint. You can actually draw your own sprite. In this case, I will draw a simple dog. So here, for example, the circle. From this circle, you can make different shapes. So you just have to click, for example, here, the reshape. The reshape allows you to put some points. And from that point, you can make some shape. So click here, example, another one here. Then you can change no outline. I'll just remove the outline. Click no outline. See here. Then I can also change. For example, I want a pink dog. There, I have a pink dog. So in this case, I can add eyes. So of course, if it's pink, I cannot see it. So I'll make the eyes darker. It's too big. I can just change it a little. And you can copy, control C, and then do a control V. You can see there's the copy and paste. Then we can have one more circle for the eyes. This time, I'll make it white. So let's find a white. So if you look at the color palette, check out the lightest, the saturation here. Then, okay, so we have here the white part. You can move it with your mouse. For example, I'm now moving this circle i'll delete this part let's try to select and move it with our mouse so we can see the this one we can make it smaller then we can also make it bigger so if you want to see it there you can zoom in zoom out and then i'll delete this I'll make this here, then I'll copy and paste. Okay, so you now have a dog. I'm going to just have a dog eyes here. Then let's put a smile on that dog. Oh no. Change. This is the nose. You can have the color. By the way, you can choose a color. If you want the same color as this, you can use the dropper and choose this color. Okay, so you will have the same color. There. Then we can put some ears. Same. You can have a circle. I'm very sorry, no, I'm not so good in drawing for my own sprite, but let's just again demo, reshape, add a specific point, and then move. You can move it and then add a specific point there. Now, if for example you just simply want to put this back, so just put it backward. This one forward. Oh no. Wait. This one. I need to make sure that this is the one that I will put backward. And this is the one to put forward. I'll just click all of this. You can put them group. Then forward. There. 
then I can also copy, so control C and then control V there. You can move I'm looking for the one that you can flip this, but if ever you cannot flip this to that side, it's supposed to be there is a flip part. You can just simply move it. I'll just move it for a little while. Okay, and then... Again, this is from a circle. In the circle, you can do some reshaping. Okay, here, and then this time, I'll make it a little smaller. Then send this backward, send this forward backward all right so now i have a dog dog face and then i'll just add another circle for the body then again this reshape tool allows you to change position shape you can add example here and this part i'm just adding points so that i can move them right then i'll just put this backward backward and this one forward there and if you want it to change to the same color, just change the color, fill. Then you can have the dropper here, there. So same color as before. But this time, we can put here an outline so we can emphasize the color. We can change again and use the dropper here for the outline of the face. And let's have an outline for the body. Same thing. You want this outline for the body there then you can add the tail let's add one last tail then let's have an outline same thing outline then put this shape and then backward this is forward this is also forward and this one should be backward now you would see forward right so you'd see here the sprite now you have your own sprite and you can move it and code it then if you want it to move to another side so you can duplicate then you can choose all of it Flip horizontal or flip vertical. Flip vertical, flip horizontal. So you now have different motions for your sprite. Now you can also add a sprite from your existing picture. So you can simply upload a costume. Click upload costume and choose a sprite. So in this case, I have here a sprite soldier i don't know if you're familiar with this you can actually make your own sprite through pictures and you can erase some portions of this uh, soldier so say for example this one from the picture i can use the eraser tool and erase so i'll just make it this eraser tool bigger like 60 and erase the portion so you would see that it's gonna erase erase 
proportions ano, of the image and you can then play around with the sprite so i'm just doing this really fast but you can do this and be mindful about the edges so you can increase the size so you can clean the edges properly so now you have a sprite so you can take a picture of yourself and do your own sprite you can change the background and if you want to manipulate and erase smaller portion you can just simply change the size of the eraser tool so in this case i want to erase here so i'll just make the eraser tool size to 10 so that i can erase smaller portion same with the paint but this time we're just doing this directly to the scratch editor so you just have to clean it up when you make your project or any scratch activity so it's nice to look at you can now put some background and work on it and make it dance so again you can duplicate and change it to different sprite like change the costume from this costume you can use your own sprite you can change the color and manipulate now your own sprite so that's all for creating your own sprite